G'day, I'm Brett. This is a quick review of the RAM mounting system, which may just be the system you're looking for for mounting accessories on your overlanding or touring vehicle. Now, this is a highly customizable system with each component can be purchased separately to build something specific for your desired accessory or mounting position. So this system I have now is for my GPS map 62 and also matches the 64. It comes in a multitude of mounting base plates. Here I have a standard bolt down mount. It is also suction mounts for your windscreen and loads and loads of other mounts for motorcycles, for bars, anything you can think of. There's probably a mount there for it. The suction mount can be applied to any flat surface and is a single hand operation. This is the B component size mounting plate with the one inch rubber ball. It's capable of holding weights up to five pounds or 2.2 kilograms. It's designed with a ball and socket type attachment, which fits on and allows an infinite amount of adjustment in any direction. You can see here the purpose of the spring is to keep the accessory end open for easy installation of accessories and the other end closed. So it fits on the ball joint gives you a chance to put your accessory in and tighten off. For the B-size components, the arm lengths come in three sizes. There's a short, which is from ball to ball, 1.75 inches or 4.5 centimeters. A standard from ball to ball, three inches or 7.6 centimeters. And there's a long, which is 5.25 inches or 13.4 centimeters. So you can by a, an arm length depending on how far you need to extend your accessory. So you can see here the components for the arms made out of marine grade aluminium and powder coated. So these are very strong. I thought originally that there was some sort of plastic but they're not so these are a long lasting components. You have a fairly solid bolt holding the two together, a spring to make it easier to put your accessories in, a couple washers and then the nut. So even if this nut does fail, should this ever come undone, you can always put a separate nut on the bolt and keep it held all together. The components can be purchased separately, allowing different base plates, arm lengths and accessory bolt-ons to all to integrate with each other. So here I have my B-size one inch ball with a medium length arm and I'm using a GPS map 62S or 64S mounting system that bolts in, tightens up the screw on the side and I basically have infinite number of positions depending on how I want to mount my GPS. The mount allows the GPS to slide in on a roller. Access to the rear USB power port is still available. Now should you want to move your accessories around, you can, such as by using the suction mount. Just undo the screw on the side. Reposition, re-tighten the nut. And there you go. It's very strong. So I think that would survive very well on corrugated tracks. And as RAM suggests, you can always upgrade to the next level component series. This is a B series rated to five pounds or 2.2 kilograms. But for extra strength on in really rough conditions, you can go to the next one up, which will be even more load carrying capacity. So it'd be very, very strong. So I'm very happy with this system thus far. I have to test it out some more on some tracks, but it seems to be very well built. Like I said, it has marine grade aluminium parts and the bolt going through is very solid. So this mount's made of composite, so it should be fairly strong plastic. We'll see how it stands up over time with UV degradation being positioned close to the windscreen here. So RAM mounts are available for many different accessories, including smartphones, tablets, GPSs, sat navs, laptops, fish finders, 
and even cup holders. Anything you can imagine, there's probably a mount for it. So if you need something really strong, sturdy and built to last for your overlanding vehicle, then jump online and check out Ram Mounts. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Visit my website roamingtheoutback.com for Australian travel destinations, vehicle preparation ideas and gear reviews. If you'd like to help support the creation of new videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the screen now. Thanks.